looks and sounds like I'm filming this in the bathroom, it's because I am. I couldn't let this red shower, while it's red, not be used as a backdrop in one of my videos. So, An Athlete's Diary, March 6th, 2017. I came off a weekend big block. It seems like the miles are never ending. This is the most uh, regimented program that I can remember being on since I ran my first marathon back in 2009. Today I did 45 very easy uh, minutes on the trail. Yesterday, 60 minutes, I pushed it a little at the end. Saturday was 12 miles and Friday was 60 minutes as well. I've decided to drop down to the Zumbro 17 mile option instead of doing the 50. I've got some friends who have signed up for the 17 mile and they did after I signed up for the 50 so I, I was able to drop down so I can do that event with them. It fits better into my superior spring training anyways. Um, tomorrow I'll have another hill workout similar to the one I did I think it was last Wednesday or Thursday and then now that the race that I'm doing is only 17 as opposed to 50 I believe my training will um, increase at least the speed of it the intensity a little bit I'm adding some deadlifts some bridges and some light shoulder work into what's already been prescribed from my coach I feel like a lot of what I've been doing is single leg, which is really good because that's what running is. But it's really powerful and I felt it on the trail today to do some two-legged exercises and deadlifts are perfect. I love deadlifts. Uh, it's great for hip and knee flexion and ankle flexion to some extent, primarily for hills and take off. I was having to really swing my right leg around and now today, and this could be partially due to the buildup of mileage as well, but I wasn't feeling like I had to do that as much. I was running much easier today as opposed to even yesterday, especially Saturday. And I think part of it was because I did some deadlifts before I went out onto the trail. Three sets of ten, I only did, uh, what, what is it, 35, 70, about 115 pounds and it was mostly just to get everything engaged in firing. That was after I did um, just 10 glute bridges, so down and up. And I like to touch activate the hamstrings and glutes, even the lower back while I'm doing those so that I can get the nervous system firing to tell those muscles to um, work for me. Uh, if you are a subscriber to my email newsletter list, you get the um, napping document. A friend of mine was talking about how a nap the other day ruined her night's sleep. Actually, it was 4 a.m. I saw the Facebook post. So, Katie, this one's for you. If you are a uh, email newsletter subscriber, I'm attaching the napping list and there's two rules kind of to live by on that uh, that have really helped me. I like naps. I take naps quite often and uh, there's a couple of rules. You can go to johnhoward.co, fill out the, um, the form there to subscribe to my email newsletter list. This goes out, the Athlete, an Athlete's Diary as well as I'll attach different things as well and more information about Edge Training Group which I will not be publishing yet although it is actually published I'm not gonna uh, share the link until probably Wednesday in an athlete's diary on Wednesday I will attach and include a link but if you want to learn more now you can go to johnhoward.co and click the ETG tab that's where you'll be able to find out more information. I shot videos similar to this. And there's probably, I didn't do the math, but I'm guessing 30 to 45 minutes worth of videos 
and information about Edge Training Group as well as the process and the next steps that you can go through to schedule an inter interview with me, which will happen in the next, probably, I'm looking at the next two weeks, because we're getting started on April 3rd, I believe it's that Monday. That's when Edge Training Group's really gonna kick off. Again, it's limited to 10. Learn more at johnhoward.co, the ETG tab, and Wednesday I will include a link directly to that tab. I don't think I've got a whole lot else to say to you today. My training is ramping up. I feel like I'm exiting the um, phase of training where my body and mind and everything kind of needs to settle into a rhythm. And uh, I'm, hitting, I'm hitting a good stride right now. You know, there's a, a, a big risk involved early on in any program as mileage increases, as intensity increases, and that goes for weightlifting, weight loss, um, any type of fitness venture. The risk is high early. That's why I say show up and be patient for a while. That's kind of where I've been. And now I'm taking what my coach is giving me and uh, I'm applying some of my own expertise into adding uh, and scheduling the things that he's got down for me to do at times when I know they will be most beneficial or impactful for some of the goals that I've got set for um, really superior springs. Umbro is going to be fun. I'm going to try and go as fast as I can with Superior in mind, Superior 50K in uh, May in mind. So it's about a seven week gap between Zumbro 17 and Superior 50K. So I'm gonna go hard enough to where I feel like I'm challenging myself, but I also want to keep in mind that just seven weeks post Zumbro is one of my A races for this spring, and that's Superior 50K that I'm really looking forward to. So, Tomorrow I've got a busy day. Uh, Tuesdays are usually a big on-site work day for me. Wednesday I will be kicking off a three-week wellness series with the Wyzetta School District at Sunset Hill Elementary. So I sent out some documentation around the food choices pillar of health and success today to help educate and give those folks some direction uh, and basically a challenge to action as far as uh, seeing results. So I'm really excited about that. Wyzetta School District is a very uh, progressive district and um, you know they're adopting wellness well-being and they're investing in their wellness well-being. So that's pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to Wednesday and uh, I've got a lot to do tomorrow, but it'll be fun. So that's all I got for you today. We'll see you soon. Peace.